Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ish Sanford and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply for a business credit card without having an actual business and I don't want to waste any time so let's get right into the video. Okay, so I guess today we're going to be applying for one of the Chase business cards. So if we go to credit cards right here, we're going to apply for a business credit card. It's going to be ooh, right here actually. No, not that one. Not the business premiere. The business unlimited. Okay, so... Let's see, new card member offers 750 bonus cash back after you spend $6,000 on purchases within the first three months of opening the account. Unlimited 1.5 cash back rewards on every purchase made for your business with this no annual fee credit card. Oh, cool. 0% intro APR for 12 months from opening the account on purchases. After that, 17.99% all the way up to 23.99% percent that's going to be variable apr depending on your credit worthiness and there is again no annual fees on this credit card so i think we're going to apply this seems like a good credit card yeah yeah let's do it let's do the application okay so i guess it's going to ask for personal info choose one what is this authorizing officer title I guess I would choose member since I'm a member of Chase, right? Okay, let's put my name. Middle name's optional, but I'll still put it. Last name. Date of birth. Gotta know that by heart. Also gotta know your mom's maiden name. I was gonna put mom. Okay, let me put my mom's actual name. Okay. Oh, they want your social. Hmm. Okay, well, let's put that in too. Okay. Address type domestic. So I guess we'll plug in our address. Where do we live in? Nice. It popped up. If there's a unit number or apartment number or suite number, don't forget to put that. <clears throat> Obviously, going to want your phone number. Three. Right, email address. Which email? I have a couple emails. Which email should I use? Probably my business email. Yeah, my business email. Good call ish. Okay, total gross annual income. Make sure to put that. <clears throat> If you guys have an LLC, then go ahead and put that, or corporation and all that. But for me, I will be putting sole proprietorship. Desired business name on card. Yeah, so does your business use another name, like a trade name, assumed name, or doing business as, I just went ahead and put uh, social security. Is your business physical address the same as your personal address? Click whatever you need to do. All right, then it's going to ask for your estimated monthly spend. Then it's going to ask, would you like to add any employee cards? Yes, I would. So I'll go ahead and put the person's name and information. And then you can add a couple more employee cards if you need to. But let's see, this is just the pricing information, what rates I'm going to have, disclosing that it has 12 months, 0% fixed intro APR, which is really good. I have read the above and I'm going to submit my application, but actually my credit is locked because I do keep it locked on experience. So let me go ahead and unlock it so I can make sure that they pull my credit. No problem. <sighs> submit, fingers crossed. I get approved. 
for working on your request. Thanks for your patience. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, oh, man. Like, I feel like whenever you're submitting an application for anything, like, the internet just starts, like, running way slower than it usually does. It's still going, too. We're working on your request. Thanks for your patience. Okay, well, I'm being patient. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Thanks for applying. Oh, wait, 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 Oh my God, what? What? I kind of got scared because it said, thanks for applying. We'll let you know because that popped up. But then I got an email that came to the email I put on there on my Apple Watch and it says, congratulations. Your credit card is approved. New account, congratulations. Your new credit card is approved. Your new business, your new Chase Inc. business, unlimited credit card. Welcome kit are on the way and should arrive three to five business days. That's what it says. <gasps> what? 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 We gotta go shop now. I'm just kidding. Keep your credit utilization ratio under 30%. Please do that. Mine is under 10%. I think my credit utilization, I think my credit you. Why can't I pronounce that? Why can't I pronounce? I'm too happy right now. But I think my credit utilization ratio is at 7% right now. So we're good. Always keep it under 10%, but really keep it under 30%. Okay, so I don't get it though. It says, please don't, re please don't resubmit your application, application status in review, but I, I already got approved. Oh, on here, it says, thanks for applying. We'll let you know, but the email told me I got approved. Oh, okay, cool. I wonder what I got approved for. I wonder if it pops up. Okay, let me go to the email on my phone. I'm not gonna do it on here, but let me go to the email on my phone. Okay, new account. Blah, 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 blah. I wonder if it pops up on my Chase app. Let me check right now. It hasn't popped up on my Chase app. Yeah, I thought it was gonna. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be popped up on here because all my other credit cards and debit cards are popped up on here. So, whatever. Okay, so here we are, seven days later. I finally received the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited credit card, another business credit card under my belt, and I am so happy about that. When you first get approved for this credit card, they tell you it's going to take anywhere from three to five business days in order to receive this in the mail, and that's kind of true because it took about like over five business days because weekends don't count, so in all turnaround, it took about seven days for me to get this credit card, but right now, I'm going to open it right now and look at it for the first time. I've never seen, well, I've seen it before, but I've never seen it in real life before, so I'm going to open it, I'm going to look at it, and we're going to appreciate this card. Now, I did get approved. For a three thousand dollar limit i've seen other people uh make a video like this to where they got approved on the spot and it tells you their credit limit on the spot but it didn't tell me my credit limit on the spot like i literally got an email that i seen on my apple watch and it literally told me i was approved but it didn't tell me for what amounts i was approved for so anyways i ended up getting approved for a three thousand dollar credit limit kind of on the low end considering i have high limit credit cards and i have really good credit but you know it is what it is i'm just happy i got another business credit card under my belt so I'll be more than happy to boost this credit limit up in the near future. So let's get to opening this. Uh-oh. Okay, some papers. I feel it. Yep, I got it. It says credit access line 3000. Don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, literally says business unlimited right here on the top right with the ink logo. I have a Visa Chase business ink card. This is so crazy. But yeah, man, I got approved for this thing and you guys see me apply for it. You guys seen it come in the mail. Like literally I got a $3,000 credit limit and like I said, that's all right. Not too high. Not something I was expecting to get. But you know, it is what it is. I'm happy with what I got. I have another business credit card and that's about it. If you guys made it to the end of the video, then I truly do appreciate you guys. You guys don't even know. We are at, I think over 12,000. I lost count, but I think it's somewhere around 12,300 subscribers at the time of this recording. So I do appreciate all who watched. I do post videos every Sunday and Wednesday. And now I'm posting videos every Friday as well. So we're uploading three times a week now. So if you guys are interested in learning more about personal and business credit, real estate, loans, or any other financial related topics, then you're probably gonna wanna consider subscribing. We talk about credit cards such as Chase, maybe Federal, American Express, Discover It, you name it, you name it, Capital One, whatever. So if that's something you're into, you're probably gonna wanna consider subscribing. And for those that don't know, I am also a licensed realtor, a real estate agent, and I'm also a licensed mortgage loan originator. So if you have any questions in regards to real estate, all my information will be in the description below. My email will be in the description below, and I will see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.